Hello and welcome to Open Everyone. I'm Rina Valentin, your host of Café con Leche for the next hour. Always inviting you to get social with us online. That's right. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV or like us on Facebook at Open Bronx Net Television. And of course, don't forget while you're there, follow moi on Twitter, Instagram, FB, Snapchat, Insta Stories, LinkedIn at Rina Valentin. And so on Saturday, February 17th, many Bronx sites will be taking a plunge in the frigid waters of the Long Island Sound for this year's fourth annual Dip for Homelessness, which is part of the Bronx Polar Bear Plunge. And the purpose of this event is to bring awareness to homelessness, a problem that affects people in the Bronx and throughout New York City. And the event is just another reminder of the challenges that homeless people face in the winter. And joining us now to tell us more about the 2018 Dip for Homelessness is Program Director for the Bronx Works Homeless Outreach Team, Juan Rivera, and Program Coordinator for Community Health Literacy, Sarah Zamiello. Welcome and thank you thank for you. being here. And we genuinely appreciate the additional efforts you guys are making to make sure that people can get there. Let's talk about homelessness first and foremost. Sure. So yeah, I mean homelessness obviously uh, a hot button topic um, in the city. Um, I mean it's there's a lot of attention on it. Um, you know the mayor has uh, sort of done a lot to increase the staffing across the city uh, and the different agencies that are working with the homeless population. So for us, you know, we our staff kind of went from maybe about 12 to 15 people. We, we've doubled that. We've gone past maybe 30, 35 people now. So that's helped us to really sort of address, you know, the issues that are going on and, and kind of do it more efficiently um, and, and meet more people and touch more people as we're out there on the streets. So when we say uh, assist, in what aspect are we referring to? Well, I mean, our team, it's a mobile team, so we're out there on the street 24 hours a day. Um, and basically what we are trying to do first and foremost is to, is to meet the folks that are out on the street. Uh, build a relationship, you know, create a little bit of rapport, try to get them to trust us enough to, to accept the services that we have to offer. Um, I mean, initially, you know, we can offer people sort of concrete things like a shower or a meal mm -hmm. um, or just a night off the street in a drop-in center. Um, you know, the more long-term things we can offer are eventually permanent housing. Um, you know, we can uh, sort of link folks to different types of care. So you guys have like a process yeah, yeah, that, can, uh, that people can, that actually can assist through sure. Bronx Works. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, we have a lot of different sort of services that go wrapped into the program. I mean, it starts with the simple, and you know, like I mentioned, just a simple thing like coming to the drop-in or taking a shower or something like that. And then, you know, eventually getting that person from, let's say, the park bench to their own apartment, having keys to, to, to their own apartment, which it's is wonderful. Great. It's yeah. wonderful. It's wonderful. Sarah, what, what are your contributions to this? Because you're a separate yeah. department. Well, I'm actually under Adult Homeless Services. I'm our hospital's mm -hmm. coordinator, so I work with the Homeless Outreach Team and the Drop-In Center and the Safe Haven, and I basically coordinate with the Bronx hospitals in helping them deal with the homeless population because sometimes the hospitals aren't as aware about working with homeless people, and so I help educate them and I help work with the homeless population and help them get those really vulnerable, chronically street homeless people into our services. Um, so I do the education piece with the hospitals, and then I also help them get those folks into our services. So mm -hmm. when you say health, I mean, uh, from what I understand, a lot of uh, the homeless population is uh, suffers from, like, mental health, uh, mm -hmm. drug abuse uh, of some mm -hmm. sort that is sure. uh, chemically induced. Mm -hmm. And so. so how do you get people to come back to, uh, I guess, wanting, mm -hmm. wanting, right? Because it starts with wanting, right? They kind of sure. get lost sure. and they float and, and then things happen and then life happens and then mm -hmm. these circumstances end up happening. Mm -hmm. How do you bring those people back from that lifestyle? Absolutely. I mean, a lot of our clients also have a lot of chronic health conditions. Um, and when mm -hmm. they're living on the street, those health conditions just become more persistent. Um, and so working with the hospitals and building really good relationships with those hospitals is really helpful in terms of a lot of our clients spend a lot of time 
in the hospitals. So when we build good relationships, we're able to communicate with the hospitals and then bring those folks from spending a lot of time in the hospitals back into our services. And, and this mm -hmm. leads us into the polar bear plunge, <laughs> yes. right? Because yeah. the, the idea is uh, for people to take the initiative uh, to be a stand for the homeless uh, individuals, right? Mm -hmm. Our homeless neighbors, we'll say. Sure. And um, have a sense of, of what that feels like mm -hmm. to be out in the freezing cold. <laughs> right and having no choice but to tolerate it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Um, right? So let's talk a little bit about how this merger happened between Bronx Works and BronxNet, because I right. know that Michael Max Navi is one of the founders mm -hmm. of the Bronx Polar Bear Plunge, and it's been really exciting for us um, to see its development and see mm -hmm. it now serve a grander purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it, like you mentioned in the opening, it's the fourth year that we've been doing mm -hmm. this, so I think, um, you know, the, the event sort of, uh, was born of this idea of raising awareness, um, you know, regarding the homeless population, and and basically the dip, you know, is symbolic. It's sort of a metaphor for you know what it feels like for someone on the street mm -hmm. to be out there in the cold. I mean, you know, um, jumping into the water, you may think, you know, those folks are crazy. What are they doing? Mm -hmm. But you know, if you think about someone who's on the street, you know, they have to do that every single night, you know, throughout the the four or five months of winter, you know, uh, consistently, and so. Um, so basically, it's a way uh, to, to raise awareness and, and help people understand that, you know, um, safety um, uh, of the people that are on the street is a big deal to us. And, and, you know, the public should sort of be aware. And I think, you know, we take it, uh, we, we take the event and sort of, um, you know, again, sort of put out there that, hey, we want to know um, if folks are seeing people out there and call 311 if you see them so that, um, you know, we can respond to that, to that call and hopefully bring someone in from the cold. Mm -hmm. And in addition, right, let's mm -hmm. say if you don't want to take the dip, which, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not everybody's, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know, it's also flu season and so <laughs> right. forth. Although we did have someone on last week who, who's I saw that, yes. a Bronx polar bear plunge right. regular, and right. he told me that he does the plunges <laughs> right. to prevent himself from getting sick, I which I found that, yeah. very fascinating. That's, That's mm -hmm. a, It's fascinating, right? And yeah. so, but <laughs> with regards to the ones mm -hmm. that don't want to take the dip, mm -hmm. um, there's also a donation factor sure. uh, that one can contribute to. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. do you want to share the details of that and how they can do that? Yeah, so they can uh, come to one of the Bronx Works locations. We're accepting gloves and hats and scarves mm -hmm. or money donations at our Bronx Works locations. We can accept them at 800 Barreto, uh, where our drop-in mm -hmm. center is, and at our 1130 Grand Concourse, I believe, which is our main community center. So I believe they're, we're accepting them through today as the, the last day. I think it's the 23rd, actually. You can oh, you can make Sunday. donations okay. up to even the, after the plunge, right? right even after the plunge. The plunge is happening this Saturday. Yeah, there's several different uh, BronxWorks offices that'll accept. If you go to BronxWorks.org, you can get more information. Um, and also BronxNet has information on their website regarding mm -hmm. the event. And lastly, I do want to share for mm -hmm. those who are wondering how they're going to get to mm -hmm. Orchard Beach. Sure. Let's talk about the, the private services, right? You're offering sure. uh, commute services, yes. Bronx yes. Works, for, from Pelham Bay Pelham 6. So you still have yeah. to take the cell phone to Pelham Bay. <laughs> right. yes. So we will have a van there at mm -hmm. the Pelham Bay uh, 6 train station at 1030. Um, we do have, um, the driver will stick around. I mean, he's not going to leave at 1030 on the dot, so, you know, we try to leave a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. But basically, uh, we want to get folks from the train station over to Orchard Beach, uh, Section 9, for the event, which kicks off at 11 o'clock. Which kicks off at 11, yeah. there's soup, mm -hmm. there's hot cocoa, hot cocoa, there's all that jazz, there's even a DJ. A DJ. <laughs> I mean, That's these right. people That's go all right. out. They make yeah. a party out of it. And you guys <laughs> got good weather tomorrow, okay? Yeah, I just want to share that. Nice. that. No, because I've seen this plunge <laughs> yeah. happen in, like, it's snow. In colder weather, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah. right. You're right. We were hoping yeah. it would be, like, 60, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be That's that lucky. <laughs> what, 10 minutes? I mean, 10 minutes, 10 degrees yeah. difference? Come right, on, right, come on. Right. It's all good. It's all good. Once again, thank you so much for being here. Are there any last words you want to share with us? No, again, just to reiterate uh, the idea of 311, I think, yes. you know, it's important for the public if they want to be involved. You know, I think um, uh, we have two teams on the street at all times, mm -hmm. but it, it's still two teams and, you know, the public at large knows their neighborhood best. So, you know, if they see someone out there who they think may need services, call 311, you know, we respond to those calls uh, within an hour. And if you leave mm -hmm. contact information, we'll call you back to let you know what happened.
And thank you. Thank you again for your continued efforts with the homeless thank you outreach. Very much. Thank you. And you guys, I don't know if you're interested in taking a dip for homelessness. That's happening tomorrow, Saturday, February 17th. Uh, Bronx Works, once again, is providing pickup transportation at 10.30 a.m. outside the number six train Pelham Bay subway station. Event kicks off at 11 a.m. at Orchard Beach with the big plunge taking place at noon. So for more information, you can go to bronxworks.org slash dip dash against dash homelessness. All right. Uh, more open coming up. Don't go anywhere. Hmm. Let's get ready, let's get warmed up. Let's pop, let's rock. We are at this event with Bronx Works, raising awareness and support to fight homelessness. So